Good morning children. It's good that you have de developed interest in statistics and you are keen to learn more and more of statistics. So I welcome you once again to the class of statistics learning measures of dispersion. We have already completed two measures of dispersion that is range, quartile deviation and now we move to the third one that is mean deviation. What is mean deviation? Mean you know that is the average of a series and mean deviation is the deviation of average or you can say the deviation of the value of mean deviation from the average, how much far it is from the average that is called mean deviation. This is also known as average deviation. The meaning will be clear to you when we will go in detail. Now earlier you have done quartile deviation, right? Now quartile deviation is a measure of partition. In quartile deviation, you were dividing the series into four parts. So that was a measure of partition that was giving you the partitional values. Whereas mean deviation and standard deviation, these are the actual measures of dispersion. These are not the partition, right? So these are considered as a better measure of dispersion. Mean deviation, mean of the absolute deviations of observations. What is mean deviation? It is the mean of absolute deviations of observation. That means important points are mean of absolute deviations of observations. Now it is the mean of absolute deviations of, of observations. I will tell you what is meant by absolute deviations. Now here absolute value refers to the magnitude of a number. That means what is the actual strength of a number or how much the, is the magnitude of a number that is clear from the absolute value. So absolute value refers to the magnitude of a number. Magnitude is found by removing the negative signs, right? In the case of magnitude, we ignore plus and minus signs. So magnitude of a value is found by removing the negative signs. So absolute value of minus 10 will be 10. That means you will ignore minus sign and absolute value of minus 10 will be 10. So in the case of mean deviation, we are ignoring all the minus signs or you can say we ignore minus as well as plus signs take the values all as positive values and these positive values are known as absolute values. So minus 10 is 10. So absolute value, it is also known as modulus of a number. Modulus is denoted by vertical bars that is as in this case 10, if you put two vertical bars here or any figure, suppose it is 3, 2 vertical bars are there. This indicates that this is a modulus. Vertical bars here are known as modulus and when you put the modulus signs or 2 vertical bars, it is clear that you have ignored minus signs and you are taking the absolute values which is always positive, right? So this is one of the main feature of mean deviation modulus of a number is taken it is denoted by vertical bars like this that is ignoring plus and minus signs this is known as modulus of a number then difference between x minus average is called deviation x minus average and again the modulus sign so whenever x minus average we are taking x minus x bar this is shown with the help of two vertical bars on both sides which are known as modulus, right? Mean of absolute deviation is mean deviation 
or it is also known as mean absolute deviations. So, mean of absolute deviations, absolute values are taken and then the values are deducted by average and then we get the deviations and these deviations are known as mean deviation or another name is mean absolute deviation. Mean deviation because we are deviating from the mean, we are moving away from the mean. This value shows that how much it is far from mean. So, mean deviation and why mean absolute deviation another name for it because absolute terms denote that you are taking the positive values ignoring minus signs. So, I think the meaning is clear to you. Now, we can define mean deviation as average distance of items in a series. This is the average distance of items in a series from their averages. Whatever is the average, actual average, mean, median, mode. So, whatever is the actual average, the distance from that particular average is known as mean deviation and main feature is ignoring plus minus signs. So, all the values are absolute values. It can be computed by three averages either mean or median or mode. So, when we are taking the averages of the series then we can take any of these three averages either mean or median or mode. Okay. Now, we will see the calculation of it. First, we will find out what are the steps to calculate mean deviation. The steps should be clear in your mind so that you will follow the steps one by one and remember that follow the steps in the same order. Then only you will get the correct answer. That is why I have given you particular steps. Find first one is find either mean, median or mode. That is your choice. First step is you have to find out the average and this average can be either mean or median or mode that is up to you. But normally mean is considered the best average and if you take out the average either mean, median or mode there is little difference in the answer, but it is more or less the same and for accuracy sake or for you can say for better averages we consider mean. So, normally mean deviation is taken out from mean though it can be taken out from median also or mode in certain cases, but mean is considered better. So, first is find either mean, median or mode that is your choice. Second compute deviations of different items from if you have taken mean over here then from mean median if you have taken then median, if you have taken mode then from mode. So, you have to take out the deviations from the average what you have taken. This is the second step. Third is add up deviations ignoring plus minus signs. Whatever deviations you have taken, these deviations you will name as D and you have to find out sigma D that is adding up all the deviations ignoring plus and minus signs. Fourth step is divide summation of deviations by n. n what is n? You know well it is number of items. So, divide it by n and denote it as d. Right? So, divide summations of item that is n and denoted by d and apply the formula m d x bar this is x bar is mean m d x bar is equal to sigma x minus x bar upon n or sigma d x upon n right this x is x bar. So, sigma d x upon n or x minus x bar upon n x minus x bar is d x that means deviations from mean m d m this is mean deviation from median is equal to sigma x minus m upon n. Now, here again children you will notice one thing that modulus signs are always there. 
what does it indicate it indicates that you are ignoring minus signs so here mdm is sigma x minus m modulus sign upon n or sigma modulus dm upon n md from mode is equal to as i told you earlier also mode is also known as z so md z is equal to x minus sigma x minus z modulus upon n or sigma dz modulus again upon n so these are the formula and with the example i'll tell you how to apply the formula and get the calculation done coefficient of mean deviation coefficient this is relative measure from mean is sigma md x bar upon x bar because this is you are taking from mean so you will take sigma md x bar and divided by x bar x bar is the sign for actual mean then mean deviation for medium is md m upon m this m stands for median mean deviation for mode is md z upon z again z stands for mode so whatever average you have selected accordingly you will apply the formula you don't have to apply all three formulas if you are taking averages as mean apply this formula if you have calculated average from median apply this formula for mode apply this formula right now we'll see the calculation of mean deviation in three type of series first as usual we'll take individual series now the question says calculate mean deviation from median or mean at, sorry from median and mean and also calculate coefficient of mean deviation this is the data given this is the case of individual series so only data is given no frequency age in years this is the age given now if you are calculating mean deviation from median then you have to follow these steps and then we'll take how to calculate mean deviation from mean so let us first see how the mean deviation is calculated from median right now from median as you know when we calculate the median then first thing we have to arrange the data in the ascending order this is the first step for finding out median so arrange data in ascending order first step second calculate median that is n plus 1 upon 2 thai term third find out deviations ignoring plus minus signs that is modulus dm modulus sign you know because you are ignoring minus signs and y dm y d first because it is deviation and y m because deviations are from median so this is clear modulus is because you are ignoring plus minus signs you write d because you are taking out deviations you write m because you are taking out deviations from median then fourth step sum up deviations to get sigma modulus dm whatever deviations you have calculated here add up all these and you get sigma modulus dm then fifth apply formula md here you write m because you are taking out deviations from median so md m is equal to sigma dm modulus upon n and coefficient of md is mean deviation from median upon median right now we'll take the example this is the data given to you first step says arrange the data in ascending order so you will apply the first step arrange the data in the ascending order then after arranging the data you will first find out the median then only you can find take out the deviations from median right so first thing you have to arrange the data and second says that find out median n plus 1 upon 2th item when you take out the deviation median then only you can calculate this column so median is size of n plus 1 upon 2th item what is the n over here n is 
7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 plus 1 upon 2th item that is 4th item now 4th item in the series is this one so your median will be 22 because you have to find out the 4th item in the series which is already arranged in the ascending order and in this 4th item is 22 so median will be 22 now you have to take out deviations from median that is x minus median median is 22 11 minus 22 is 11 16 minus 22 is 6 though it is minus 11 minus 6 but as you know well we are ignoring minus signs so you will not write down minus signs over here earlier you when you you were calculating deviations you were writing minus or plus signs but here all the values are absolute values do not write minus sign 11 minus 22 is not min minus 11 it is only 11 remember well 16 minus 22 is 6 21 minus 22 is 1 22 minus 22 is 0 29 minus 22 is 7 34 minus 22 is 12 42 minus 22 is 20 right so remember that you will ignore minus signs this is the main feature of calculating mean deviation in any other kind of dispersion we are not ignoring minus signs but here when we are taking out the deviations minus signs are totally ignored calculate the values <coughs> and this will when you add up this it will become sigma dm modulus immediately you will put modulus sign over here indicating that you are ignoring minus signs so sigma dm modulus is 58 right now another next step is apply the formula formula is mdm because it is median mdm is equal to sigma dm modulus upon n right first write down the formula so there is no confusion when you are taking out from median always write down m here similarly dm and do not forget to put the modulus sign upon n now sigma put the values now sigma dm modulus is 58 this is 58 you will write down 58 in place of sigma dm and then n is 7 you write down 7 here simplify it and you get mean deviation is 8.29 clear then coefficient of mean deviation is as the formula says md upon m mdm upon m so mdm stands for median this indicates that you have taken out the average from median mdm upon m that is equal to now what is mdm here you have calculated 8.29 is mdm and what is m m is 22 that is median so put the values 8.29 upon 22 and you get the coefficient as 0 0.37 so it is very simple the only thing is that you know the correct formula and on the basis of formula you know that what you have to get the calculation then done over here and accordingly put the right values when you are writing the values here in place of formula just cross check it before doing the further calculation just see the that you have written down the correct formula and cross check that the values what you are writing they are correct or not if the values are not correct the answer will be wrong so put the correct values in place of formula and do the calculation and simple thing you will get the correct answer always isn't it interesting it is very very interesting and very very simple nothing to be done only thing you have to learn the steps put the right values here after taking out the deviations 
put the right formula, do the calculation and you get the correct answer. Okay. Now, we will see how mean deviation is calculated from mean. Right? This one was an example of median. Now, you will take mean as the average. When we take the mean deviation from mean, we have to calculate arithmetic mean first. Here we were calculating median first because the mean deviation was from median. This is from mean. So, first thing you will calculate arithmetic mean. Second, find out deviations from mean that is d x bar modulus and find out sigma d x bar modulus divided by number of items apply formula m d here it is x bar because you are taking out deviations from mean equal to this is modulus again sigma d x bar modulus sign upon n and then coefficient of mean deviation is mean deviation from mean upon mean because you are taking out deviations from actual mean. Okay. Now, this is the example, the same example I have taken here. Now, in the x column you need not arrange the data, copy down the data in the same order because this is not median, this is average from mean. So, copy down the data here in the same order. Now, second step you have to calculate deviations from mean. This is x minus x bar. So, you have to first find out what is actual arithmetic mean and you know the formula for mean x bar is equal to sigma x upon n. So, first you will do the total of x column right and this is total of sigma x is 175 and n is 7. So, you total up this column this is 175 divided by number of items this is 7 and you get 25 as mean. This is actual arithmetic mean from which you have to take out the deviations. Now, this deviations column this says x minus x bar this is x column this is x bar. So, you will deduct this individual series from 25. So, 22 minus 25 is 3 though it is minus 3, but as we are ignoring minus signs. So, you will just write down 3, 34 minus 25 is 9, 11 minus 25 14, 21 minus 25 4, 16 minus 25 9, 29 minus 25 4 and 42 minus 25 is 70. So, this is d x bar column that means d is deviations from x bar that is deviations from mean and modulus sign because you are ignoring minus signs. So, this is the total of this column and this is the total of x column. Now, mean deviation from mean is equal to sigma d x bar modulus upon n. Now, sigma d x bar this total of this column sigma d x bar modulus is 60. So, you will write down 60 at this place, n is number of item that is 7, you will write down 7 here and get the answer this is mean deviation 8.57. Again, you have to write down the correct formula and put the correct values. Then coefficient of mean deviation is mean deviation x bar upon x bar. Why x bar here? Because you are taking deviations from actual mean. So, mean deviation x bar upon x bar. Now, m d x bar is 8.57. So, we will write down 8.57 here. x bar is 25. Write down 25 here. Simplify it and you get, get coefficient as 0 0.34. So, this calculation is very simple provided you follow the correct steps in the same order. So, first you have to calculate mean, take out the deviations from mean, add up the number of items and add up the deviation column, apply the formula, 
divide deviation column by the number of items that is n this is this will give you mean deviation and coefficient of mean deviation mean deviation from x bar upon x bar divided by what is mean deviation you have got over here divided by mean this this divide by this and you will get the coefficient right so this way in the case of individual series you can calculate mean deviation from median as well as from mean the steps and formula accordingly so children it is clear to you now we will move to discrete series second type of series these are discrete series and you know in the case of discrete series frequencies are given now what are the steps let us see first calculate mean or median of series why mean or median again because you know that this is your choice you can take either mean or median or mode so calculate mean or median or any type of average you want third take deviations and get dm if you are calculating from median you will write down dm modulus if you are taking average as arithmetic mean so you will write down d x bar modulus then multiplied by respective frequencies here in the case of discrete series frequencies are given so multiply this part dm modulus by frequencies and get sigma f dm or sigma f d x bar right so mean deviation apply the formula mean deviation is sigma f dm upon n or sigma f dx bar upon n coefficient is equal to mean deviation upon if you are taking actual mean then x bar if you are taking median then m if you are taking mode then z same pattern only the frequencies are given now as you have to find out this for calculating mean deviation so first you will write down the frequencies and x column first take out the deviations as you know you, you need fd so you will take out the you will multiply this by this sorry multiply d column with f and you get fd and then cumulative frequency why you will take because you are taking out deviations from median so you need to calculate cf okay now first column x you have noted down the same order f in the same order then first you have to take a d column you can calculate only first you can to calculate median then you get the deviations so meet for median you will calculate cf and median is n plus 1 upon 2th item cf this is 48 total of f column is 48 so 48 plus 1 upon 2 that is 24.5th item and 24.5 is here in front of this this is median here i have told you 24.5th item is 12 so 24.5th item is lying here it is more than 15 it is here in front of this in the x column is 12 so this is 12 as median then mean deviation formula sigma f dm for this you have to take out the deviations now this d column gives you deviations from x this is 10 minus 12 is 2 ignoring minus sign 10 minus 12 is 2, 11 minus 12 is 1, 12 minus 12 is 0, 13 minus 12 is 1, 14 minus 12 is 2. Ignore plus minus signs. Next step is multiply D with F because you need F D modulus. So multiply this deviation column with frequency. 3 into 2 is 6, 12 into 1 is 12, 18 into 0 is 0, 12 into 1 is 12, 3 into 2 is 6, right? And then 
you have to do the total of this because you, you need the sigma of it. So, total of this is 36 and total of f column is 48. Now, apply the formula m d is equal to sigma f d m upon n, n is sigma f. So, sigma f d m is 36, you will write down 36 here, n is number of item or sigma f, sigma f is 48. So, this is 36 upon 48 and this is your mean deviation, right. And coefficient of mean deviation m d m upon n equal to m d is 0 0.75, n is n is number of I, uh, sorry this is median. So, m d m is 0 0.75 and m is 12 and this is the coefficient that means 0 0.06 the value of mean deviation is 0 0.06 away from actual average. So, this way we can cal do the calculation of mean and you can say mean deviation or average deviation either from mean or from median in case of individual series and discrete series. So, next we will take calculation in continuous series. Now, children we will learn the calculation of mean deviation in case of continuous series. Now, in the continuous series these are the steps what you are supposed to follow. First is calculate mean or median of the given data. As usual in the case of individual and discrete series also you calculated either mean or median to take out the deviations. So, here again first step is calculate mean or median whatever you want of the given data. Second take deviations of midpoints ignoring plus minus signs and denote it by d modulus. Now, why do we take the midpoints over here? Because you know in the case of continuous series class interval is given that is 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30 and so on. And in case of class interval you have to take out the mid values and then the calculation will be same as in the case of discrete series. So, take deviations of midpoints first take out the midpoints, take deviations of midpoints ignoring plus minus signs and when you ignore minus sign it become modulus. So, it is denoted by d modulus. Third multiply deviations from respective frequencies to get sigma f d modulus. Now, this here you have calculated d mod and here sigma f d mod by multiplying d with frequencies. And fourth apply formula m d is equal to sigma f d upon n right. So, this is the process of calculating mean deviation. Now, we will take the example and we will calculate m d from median as well as from mean in case of continuous series. Now, this is the example given x is 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50 and this is the frequency given number of items in each class interval. Now, we will take the solution in the x column you will copy down the data like this only f column copy down the frequencies as given to you. Now, if you are calculating this mean deviation from median. So, what is the next step to calculate median you need cumulative frequency. So, you will make the cumulative frequency of this column you know the process and total of f is last item of this. Then after doing this you first calculate median, median is n plus 1 upon 2th item that is 25th item n is 50 right n plus no here it is n upon 2 item n upon 2 is 25th item. 
Now n upon 2 is 25th and 25th is here sorry 25th in the CF column that is here and this will be L1, this will be preceding cumulative frequency and this will be frequency. So, n upon 2th item is 25th item which is lying here, median is L1 plus n upon 2 minus CF upon F into I, this formula you know very well we have taken it earlier also, L1 is the lower class interval of this frequency, so L1 is 20, n upon 2 is 25 you have taken already right so n upon 2 is 25 minus cf is the preceding frequency that is 15 and f is 20 this is this figure and class interval of this is 10 so it is 10 here when you simplify you get 25 as median right now after taking out the median you first calculate the mid values of this column 0 to 10 mid value is 5, 10 to 20 is 15, 20 to 30 mid value is 25, 35, 45 right. You calculate the mid value as I told you here take deviations from midpoints. So, for mid deviations you need the midpoints. So, calculate mid value first and then take out the deviations from this mid value because it is difficult to calculate deviations from this column. So, we have taken the mid value to make it easier the central value and deviations are taken from median, median is 25. So, d is equal to m minus 25 right m here is the mid value. So, 5 so, uh, this one is deviation you are taking 5 minus 25 is 20 again ignoring minus signs 15 minus 25 is 10, 25 minus 25 0, 35 minus 25 10, 45 minus 25 is 20. So, D column is 20, 10, 0, 10, 20 ignoring minus and plus signs that is why it is D mod. Now, next step because you need F D mod. So, in this way you will multiply D column with frequency then you get F D mod. You need F D here and F D you can get this is D only to get F D you have to multiply D column with F. So, 5 into 20 is 100, 10 into 10 is 100, 20 into 0 is 0, 5 into 10 is 50. 10 into 20 is 200 and do the total of this because you need sigma of it do the total that is 450. Now, you have to apply the formula mean deviation is sigma F D upon n sigma F D here is 450 n is number of items or sigma F here I told you n is same as sigma F that is same as n that is 50. So, sigma F D upon n 450 upon 50 in is equal to 9. So, M D is 9 this is mean deviation and coefficient of mean deviation is M D upon median. Why median? Because you are taking deviations from median. So, coefficient of mean deviation is M D upon median M D you have got 9 median you have taken as 25. So, 9 upon 25 is 0 0.36 this is coefficient of mean division. Simple. So, this is the calculation of M D through median. Now, we take calculation of mean division from mean right mode is normally avoided because mode is an uncertain value. So, in this way mean and median they are more popular and out of these two mean is more popular than median. Now, marks and number of students are given here simple figures are here 2 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 8, 8 to 10 and number of students 3, 4, 2, 1. Now, 
the same steps you are going to follow. First you will copy down the x column, copy down f column, take out the mid value, mid value of 2, into 2 to 4 is 3, 4 to 6 is 5, take out the mid value. Then x minus a, here it is through mean, so you will take the assume mean. You can take actual mean also, then you have to calculate f into x, sigma f x. Here I have taken it from assume mean. Assume mean formula is x bar is equal to a plus sigma f d upon n. Now, a we are assuming 5. Here I am assuming 5 as assume mean. So, x bar is equal to a plus sigma f d upon n. 5 we have taken as assume mean and we take the deviations from 5. So, in this case 5 minus 3 minus 5 x minus a 3 minus 5 is 2 5 minus 5 is 0 then 7 minus 5 is 2 9 minus 5 is 4. When we do the total of this sigma f d is 2 right. Now, sigma d sigma d and when we multiply it then we get f d this is d this is sigma d that is 2 and when we multiply it this is f d we multiply this column with frequency 3 into 2 is 6 4 into 0 is 0 2 into 2 is 4 1 into 4 is 4 and sigma f d is 2. So, x bar is equal to a plus sigma f d upon n a is the zoom mean what we have taken as 5. So, a is 5 plus sigma f d. Now, sigma f d we have calculated over here. In the case of mean deviation, I told you we will ignore minus sign, but here f d we are calculating for getting mean. So, here we will not ignore minus sign and so this one will be d into f 3 into 2 is 6 right and 4 into 0 is 0. So, here deviation here this will be actually this is minus 2. So, this will be minus 6 right and 0 4 4 and this will be sigma f d is 2 because here deviation was minus 2 why because 3 minus 5 this was minus 2, but when we are doing the mean deviation then we will ignore minus sign, but when we are calculating arithmetic mean then we will take into consideration this minus sign and this will be d into f 3 into 2 is minus 6 then 0 and then 2 into 4 and then 1 into 4 is to 4 right. So, sigma f d is 2 4 plus 8 minus 6 that is 2 sigma f d is 2 and n. So, uh, 5 plus 2 upon 10, n is 10, so this is 10 equal to 5.2. This is our x bar, this is the arithmetic mean. Now, we have to take out the deviations from arithmetic mean and in this column we will ignore minus signs. So, here x minus x bar, x is 3, x bar is 5.2. So, 3 minus 5.2 is 2.2, 5 minus 5.2 is 2.2, 7 minus 5.2 is 1.8 and 9 minus 5.2 is 3.8. Clear? Now, next column is F D modulus. Now, in this case you have to multiply D with F, multiply this column with this column to get f d modulus and then this is 3 into 2.2 is 6.6, .6, 4 into 0 0.2 is 0 0.8, 2 into 1.8 is 3.6, 1 into 3.8 is 3.8 and then do the total of this because your formula says that mean deviation is sigma f d upon n. So, do the total of this. 14.8 n is 10 this is 1.48. So, m d becomes 1.48. Then 
coefficient of mean deviation as the formula says it is md upon mean md is 1.48 and mean is 5.2 so 1.48 upon 5.2 is 0 0.28 and this is your coefficient right so this way in the continuous series we can calculate md through mean or through median both ways right that is your choice or that is according to your data if data is simple you can calculate it through mean if data is very complicated it's a long process then median you find easier then you can calculate it with median right now after completing all the three type of series in the calculation of md we have to see what are the merits and demerits of mean deviation as usual first we will take the merits and then the demerits merits first is very simple to understand after doing the calculation i think you will believe that it is very simple to understand mean deviation is not very complicated thing second based on all observations of the series as in the case of quartile deviation you are leaving first 25 percent and the upper 25 percent but here the calculation is based on all observations of the series third best representative of dispersion in comparison to range and quartile deviation you know that in the case of range we took the extreme values lowest and the highest and in the case of quartile deviation we took the central 50 percent of values so in this way this is best representative of dispersion because it is considering all the observations in the series or all the items of the series fourth less affected by extreme values because it is considering all the items of the series it is not affected by extreme values because we are taking out the mean or actual average then we are taking out the deviations okay now these are the demerits first mathematically inaccurate because algebraic signs are ignored you know that we are ignoring plus minus signs in this mean deviation and as we are ignoring minus and plus signs so mathematically it will be not very accurate this is a demerit second when deviations are taken from mode md becomes unreliable as mode is uncertain so mode is not a very good measure of mean so in this way mode is itself not very certain not very accurate and if if when we are taking the deviations from mode then obviously the result will not be very accurate right so this is another demerit <coughs> third involves harder calculation than range and quartile deviation if we compare the calculation then in comparison to range and quartile deviation mean deviation is little harder or complicated though when we when you will you are able to understand it properly then you will not find it hard but in comparison to range and quartile it takes more time cannot be computed in open end classes open end classes means both the extreme ends are open so in the open end classes it cannot be computed because we have to consider each and every item of the series so both the limit should be having figures not open fifth not well defined measure since it is calculated from different averages we are calculating it from different averages that is mean median and mode and it is not a very defined measure because the answer will not be the same in each case if we calculate it through mean there may be little difference in the answer what we get through median maybe maybe in points only but there is little variation so that way if we consider it then we can say that as three type of measures can be used so it is not very accurate in the sense that all three answers may not be the same right these are the demerits now we will see what are its uses 
for forecasting business cycles md is more useful what are business cycles these are ups and downs in the economy the economy moves up and comes down then again moves up this is the normal business cycle or any business that rises then goes down and then again come up so in this way business cycles are there in the economy and when we are forecasting business cycles then mean deviation is considered considered to be a better measure second it is considered good for small sample studies where elaborate sample study is not required if we do the elaborate sample studies having a lot of data then it may not be useful but for small sample studies it may prove to be useful so in this way we can say that mean deviation is very simple and very easy to understand and it is used in different ways though it has some demerits but these demerits can be overcome by having the merits and using it properly in certain cases so in this way mean deviation you have done and do lot more practice look at the numericals or sums given in your book and practice as much as you can and try to get the correct answer in one go right following the steps properly and following the method and formula correctly right and i am sure you'll enjoy working on it